Hi, this is Amanda with Dogatech. I put together a short video on manual stitching, which is a unique capability enabled by Dobbycam 2's live C-scan. It's fast to deploy, it requires no accessories and minimal setup. Manual stitching is a method requiring a C-scan map larger than the 32 by 32 mm air of a Dobbytech transducer module, also known as a TRM. I will acquire a 3x3 manual stitch on a carbon fibre panel containing impact damage. There's a grid of dots marked out on it which is done using a stitching mat. The dots help with positioning of the TRM. I will acquire data with full matrix capture on and will maximise the C-scan display. The TRM's data can be seen from the light of the TRM and in the software. Press the button of the TRM to start the acquisition. Position the TRM and press the button again to stop the acquisition. Equally, the button in the software can be used to start and stop the acquisition. Repeat this process until the stitch is complete. As we go into the next line, I will acquire data in the reverse direction. As we acquire the data, I can see the impact damage as a circular region, whilst the background looks textured because of an uneven backside finish on the back wall. We can also retrospectively reacquire data by selecting the relevant tile, pressing the button of the TRM to start the acquisition, positioning the TRM, and pressing the button again to stop the acquisition. Here we can see the amplitude view, but the time of flight view, also known as a depth view, is simultaneously acquired and we can easily toggle to this. We can also toggle to see the A and B scans at any point. We can see the impact damage and laminations at different depths in the B scans here. While we can see the back wall echo from the intact material here. To quantify the size, I can draw in a circle. From this, I can see the diameter is about 45 millimeters. For some inspection tasks, this is sufficient, but on the right, we also have the statistics for the region bounded by the circle. This will update as I move the circle. As we move it into the lamination, we can look at the depth information in more detail. We have this histogram of depths to the right. There are three main levels here, and there's a clear flat back wall at about 4.8, 4.9 millimeters here. I can switch the amplitude view, and the statistics will update accordingly. The main peak is below 40%, and as we move over to the lamination, the amplitude distribution shifts upwards, and the main peak is above 60%. In conclusion, we can quickly map out C-scan errors larger than the TRM size and include all A-scan and B-scan information. This allows for quick damage assessment as well as more in-depth analysis with as much information as needed. This can all be done on board and live, without the need for separate post analysis in different software. Man stitching can also be done in MXTT mode, which is shown in another video. For more information, please contact sales at dogitech.com.